Welcome to this introductory video about the Job Scheduler Dashboard. The dashboard is an interface that gives operators a comfortable way of monitoring the jobs and orders that are planned for Job Scheduler, as well as a history of the jobs and orders that have actually been run. The dashboard can be used as a standalone application, i.e. without a locally installed Job Scheduler. When installed with a Job Scheduler, as we have here, the dashboard can be configured so that the Job Scheduler Operating Center Jock, and the Job Scheduler Operating Editor Joe are integrated into the dashboard as tabs. Taking a quick look at Joe, the Job Scheduler Object Editor, it is used to create, modify and delete Job Scheduler objects. Jock, which we are looking at now, the Job Scheduler Operating Center shows job status information and allows jobs to be controlled in real time. Both these interfaces are described elsewhere. Going back to the Object Editor, we can see that we are looking at Scheduler Marvin, our locally installed Job Scheduler. That on this scheduler we have three jobs, Job Sample 1, 2 and 3 that we have one job chain, job chain sample and if we take a look at the steps inside this job chain we can see that two of our jobs are included in this job chain. Job sample 1 is a standalone job. It is set to run every day at 1700 hours. The other two jobs, Job Sample 2 and Job Sample 3, are part of the job chain, Job Chain Sample. If we take a look at the nodes in this job chain, we can see the two jobs here. This job chain is controlled by two orders. The Start Daily order has a run time every day at 10 a.m. The Start Daily Afternoon order also runs every day at 1600 hours. Returning to the Job Scheduler dashboard itself, we can see that it has two tabs, one for the planned jobs and orders and an Order History tab. Taking a closer look at the Planned tab, we see that the dashboard shows the planned jobs and orders in a list and that we are looking at the jobs and orders for our Job Scheduler with ID Scheduler Marvin. We can update the information shown by clicking on the Refresh button. The standalone job, Job Sample 1, was planned for 1700 hours. We can see here that it was executed promptly, but the red colour indicates that it ended in error. The two ordered jobs Start Daily Afternoon and Start Daily were both planned and executed promptly. You can see here for start daily, the processing took 38 seconds. We also have two JITAL jobs here which were not shown in the Joe tab we looked at previously. Create Day Schedule and Check Day Schedule. The Create Day Schedule job was planned for one second after midnight, was executed promptly and if we look in more detail here, we can see that it also ran three times later this afternoon just after 2 o'clock. The check day scheduled job is coloured blue. This indicates that it's periodically running, which means, if we look at in more detail, it was started and first run at 1 second after midnight, thereafter approximately every 30 minutes until 18.38.20 seconds. 
if we go over to the sh dashboard history tab we see all the jobs and orders that have been planned for all the job schedulers be monitored by this dashboard for example scheduler test Linux scheduler OHA and scheduler Marvin we can filter the jobs shown to only show those run on single job scheduler for example only those that have been run on scheduler Marvin we have direct access to job log files in both the planned and in the history tabs. Going back to the planned tab and selecting this job sample 1 which ran into an error, we see the log file in this tab at the bottom. Scrolling to the bottom we can see process terminated with exit code 1 more than one log file can be opened in a tab. If we go to the check day schedule job we can open for example the run which took place at 9.05 in a first tab, the run which took place at 9.35 in a second tab and then we can compare which is a particularly useful tool for debugging. We also have the possibility of carrying out a full text search across the job and job chain columns of the dashboard. To demonstrate this I'll first of all remove the scheduler Marvin filter so that we get a few more jobs. We are now looking at three job schedulers OH, scheduler Marvin and 2220 and we're seeing the jobs which are planned for today. So if I first of all enter here exercise we see that three jobs are planned on scheduler OH. If I enter chain we find our two jobs for our scheduler Marvin job chain sample if I select one of those jobs I get the log file immediately in the new tab in the bottom here. It is also possible to use the calendars selection from and to to filter. Um, this applies to the history and to the plan tabs and to demonstrate this I'll move over to the history tab. We'll take a look at the whole week and look and see how often job sample won. Ran or was planned twice and in both cases the job ended in an error. Logs can be opened alongside each other and compared. Closing some of those tabs which are no longer required. Returning to the planned tab, the appearance of this tab has changed since we last looked at it as recording of this video is now continuing a day later and we have a new situation. For example, the job sample 1 is no longer shown in red as it has been freshly planned and has not yet run. The jobs that are purple are late and have not yet been executed. Clicking on one of these jobs, for example, create day schedule on scheduler OH we can see that it does not yet have its own log file. If we use the context menu clicking on the right hand mouse button to start this job immediately once it is finished it is shown in yellow. This colour is used to indicate that this job has started late but has been completed. The 
contents menu provides further filtering possibilities. For example, if we set the filter scheduler ID to show only the jobs which are on scheduler Marvin, we can use the contents context menu to reset the filter to our original view. We can also use the context menu to show, for example, only those jobs that are waiting. Jobs are planned not only for the current day but also for the future. For example, if we extend the to date from the current date of the 27th to the 30th, you can see that the number of jobs considerably increased and that the date for which the jobs are to be carried out is also shown. We can filter this, for example, Scheduler Marvin. You can see that the regular pattern being, uh, being planned and you can also see we're looking here at Scheduler Marvin from the 27th to the 30th. Resetting these values The dashboard only plans job once the job plan creator has been run, in this case in the create day scheduled job. This can be demonstrated if we create a new job in Joe, job scheduler object editor. We'll create a new standalone job. And call this job job sample 4. Let it carry out a ping. To the local host. It can be carried out in up to three tasks and the job should be run every day at 1400 hours. Saved. Now, if we go over to the dashboard and carry out a refresh we see that the job is not yet included in the plan. For this to happen, we have to go over to the Job Scheduler Operating Center and start the Create Day Scheduled Job once more. We can see that the Job Sample 4 has already been found by the Job Scheduler Operating Center thanks to the automatic, uh, automatic updating which takes place every 5 seconds. The Create Day Scheduled job started by selecting in the job menu Start Task Immediately. And we'll have to wait a few seconds for it to run. But we can perhaps, through immediate update, find out when is this finished? A little bit quicker. OK, now it is finished. If we go over to the dashboard once more, carry out a refresh, you can see that our job is here. However, it is coloured purple because although it was planned for 1400 hours, it has not yet been executed. To let the job run, we go back to the job send the job scheduler operating center and we let the we start the check day scheduled job this will look at which jobs are in the daily plan and whether or not they have run Okay, it's finished.
we go back to the dashboard carry out a refresh we can see that our job has run but has been uh, executed late if we now go back to the job scheduler operating center we can start our job job sample for manually several times in parallel we now have one two three tasks running in parallel if we go back to the dashboard once those jobs have finished you can see here that they are still active manual update it's still running first one has finished second one has finished so all three are now finished if we go back to the dashboard and carry out a refresh restrict the jobs being shown to those which ran on schedule of Marvin we can see our job is listed here and that it has been run three times today if we go over to the history tab we see the three runs listed here together with the associated log files going over to the job scheduler operating center once more at the moment we are looking at the local job scheduler scheduler Marvin it is however possible to integrate other job schedulers into the operating center if we go down to this point here do a right hand mouse click we can for example open the oh.sos this is the scheduler oh which we have looked at previously the scheduler uses the same database as the scheduler Marvin which means that it is also possible to integrate uh, to see results from this uh, job scheduler in the dashboard it is however also possible to open other job schedulers for example which are not connected to the database of the local host scheduler Marvin.